Hi, welcome back to the show. Um, I've had Abby for about 11 days now. She's about 11, she was 11 weeks as of Thursday, so yesterday. Um, It's January 14th today, I believe. So anyways, last week we've done a lot of settle in, getting on a schedule, getting on a routine, um, basically figuring each other out. Uh, She has definitely blossomed into the little rambunctious puppy that I imagined she would be. Um, So she's getting settled in. We have a good routine. She has not had any accidents. Yes, yes, little one. In the house, um, she's pretty consistent in using the bathroom outside. And then uh, last night was the first night she slept a whole nine hours through the night. So we have made really good progress this first week and a half since she's been with us. Um, So now that she's settled, she's comfortable in her new space, we're gonna start actually training now. So over the last week, we've been doing luring. So moving her into positions by following a lure, but we're gonna start actually teaching some behaviors now. So this week I'm gonna teach sit, down, and touch, basically a hand target for her to put her nose on my little hand like that. Good girl. So I hope you enjoy. That's what the three behaviors I'm going to share with you how to teach. And yeah, let's see how she does. Hi. (laughs) So we are on our second walk today. I know I just said she didn't have any accidents in the house, but I got a little overconfident. Um, But it brings me to a tip that I want to share with you guys. So I took my off of her for a second. I went to the restroom and I came back out and I found her in a full squat in the kitchen. And I was like, oops, made a really loud noise, which didn't stop her. But I immediately grabbed her up, picked her up midstream, took her outside into her potty spot. And then I said, go potty. And she finished up. So, you know, it was kind of a bummer that she did go in the house. However, it was a very good learning opportunity for her. So not only now that she knows what the right things to do, but she knows what the wrong thing to do is. So, yeah, it's really helpful if you catch them in the act. If you catch them, don't catch them in the act. Then you kind of miss your opportunity to teach them. So that's why you got to keep an eye on these little babies. Right, baby? So... We're out and about on a little like trail thing. I still have a leash on her. I'm not holding it, but there is a leash in case, you know, she does get into something or she does not come back right away. I can still grab her without having to actually grab her. So until she is fully out of the training phase, probably up until a year, she's gonna have a leash on her the whole time. So when we're out here the last week, I haven't been doing any formal training, but I am doing informal training. So I'm going to give you guys an idea of what that looks like. So here we are on the trail. She's kind of sniffing around, doing her thing. And then when she's not too distracted, I'm going to call her name and see if she comes to me. I'm only going to call her name one time. So if she doesn't pay attention, (laughs) she's already coming back. If she doesn't pay attention, I'm going to make a noise. To get her attention and then see if she comes back. So let's wait till she runs off and gets into something. Not too far. Abby, come! Yes, good girl! Good girl. And I reward. Okay, go play. So another thing we've been working on is just rewarding and building value in a position where she should be if she was like walking with me on leash in a heel area, like by my side. So what I do is when we're on our walks off leash, I just walk and then when she comes into that position naturally, I go ahead and reward her for that. So. She just ran past me, so I'm just going to keep walking. 
eventually she'll come into the position. Yes. And I kind of touch my seam and I treat her in that position. Yes. She gave me a sit, so I'm going to give it to her extra treats. Okay, go play. So we're still out here walking. It's pretty a lot of distraction, but she's doing fairly well. Um, so right now we are in a learning phase, very big learning phase. She doesn't really know anything yet. Um, I'm starting to teach her things, but we're not in the testing phase. So when I'm out here and I'm calling her to me, I'm either using not really her name or just sounds to entice her to come to me. But uh, since we have been together for a week now, I have been starting to try to introduce the formal recall. And she pretty much knows it. But out here with all these distractions, I try to only do it when I'm like 90% sure that she's going to come back to me. So maybe she will if I call her. Yeah! Oh, what's the matter? Good girl. Good girl. Okay, go play. So that was pretty good. I said her name, she looked at me, I told her come. She started heading my way and as soon as she made that decision, she initiated the movement to come to me. I marked up behavior with the yes and that was like successful. Yes, good girl. In the position, next to my foot. Good girl. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yes. We 
had our exercise, we had our training session. Now I'm going to prepare her lunch, but in the meantime, I have a new toy that her daddy got for her. I know she's gonna like it. Hey, pop up. Hi. Come on, here you go. There we go. Oh yeah. Just like there are treats in here. And now it's lunchtime. Thanks for watching. Go pee. Go pee. Good go pee. Good girl. Good girl.